So let's talk about self-medication for a sec. Some people come and they say they have issues with drugs or, or drug abuse, and I usually ask them, is it really a drug that is being abused here, or is it something else? Because there is a uh, psychiatrist, Bessel van der Kolk, who's written a book called The Body Keeps the Score. He's an uh, amazing person in treating trauma, an American, uh, and he has run this trauma institute for like 40, 50 years where he mixes actual methods that work, that work. And in his research, he's found that out of 100% of women in the United States with drug abuse issues, 80% have childhood trauma or adversity. So that's too much to neglect, right? So the theory here is that perhaps self-medication is the result of unresolved traumatic experiences. And you need that to balance your system because you have no other way of resolving it. So instead of looking at the drug or talking about morale or character or anything like that, which creates issues of shame of having this abuse situation, um, by simply looking at the issues that are traumatic, even going back to stuff that this person might think were resolved because they were so long ago, and doing this, these simple first aid techniques um, can actually resolve the craving for these drugs in amazing ways. And you have a cool story about that. Yeah, and it's about the former UN soldier. He was uh, deployed in Afghanistan and also in uh, Lebanon a long time ago in the beginning of the 80s. Uh, he's from Norway, and we met at um, the airport in Addis Ababa in uh, Ethiopia some couple of years ago. Uh, he was sitting and self-medicating, which is the easiest way to self-medicate, of course, is alcohol and cigarettes. So he was sitting, smoking and drinking, and uh, we came to start talking. And uh, since trauma is what interests me most in this world, I could say, and the healing of trauma, um, soon we started to talk about these different kind of experiences. And uh, he told me about uh, all the different places he had been and uh, he, that he had been walking around this airport like five times. He had measured it, so he had said, he, I have now walked three and a half kilometers because I feel a bit, you know, um, hyper uh, and not very calm. Uh, and then it was time for my flight and I went to, to the gate. But on the way there, I thought, oh, perhaps I, I better go back and see if I can show these techniques to him, if he is willing to. He was still sitting there smoking and drinking. And, and I asked him, do you want me to show these techniques to you? Yeah, why not, he said. And he said, Let, yeah. So I said, let's sit down here. So it was in the middle of the corridor where people were walking up to their gates and, and a lot of movement. But for him, it was not a problem. So we did some of these techniques. And, and when we finished, he hugged me. And tears were coming to his, his eyes. And we continued a bit. Uh, so he got calm. And um, then he said, thank you so much. And I ran to my gate, and he went off to his. Uh, and in the plane, of course, I was sitting thinking, yeah, I will see what, hopefully, he got a bit calmer. And, uh, and a week later, I don't think it was more than a week later, there came this email where he was writing, wow, thank you so much for showing me these techniques. Because, you know, I fell asleep at the airplane without alcohol for the first time in how many years, I don't even know. I came home, and for Easter, because this was just before Easter, I didn't even touch alcohol. And you know, my wife is so happy because now I'm not throwing myself during the night in the bed out of my nightmares from all these things that I have been seeing as my, like, uh, during the time of my, my, my deployment as a Julian soldier. And you should know that if you hadn't showed those techniques to me, I would never have believed what you told me. So since then, he has been uh, having another session of these techniques and using them himself. And, and, and it seems to be really calming down his nervous system. Yeah, and the technique you used in that case was the trauma tapping technique, right? Yeah, it was tapping. trauma tapping. And that took how long to do? I mean, I didn't have so much time, so it didn't take more than four and a half or five minutes. Four and a half, five minutes. <laughs> yeah, because then my and, flight and was leaving. And that's a single session. So a lot of time, self-medication can be resolved by addressing symptoms of stress and trauma.